right, y'all, the pros and cons of dating an older guy. Starting with the pros. Number one, they tend to be more experienced. Number two, they tend to be more mature. Number three, they tend to be willing or more willing to settle down quicker. Number four, they tend to be more financially stable. Number five, they tend to know more about what they want in life and in women. Number five, they tend to be more direct and honest. They ain't trying to play games. All right, y'all, now for the pro. Oh, now for the cons, I mean. <laughs> Let's get into it. Number one, they may be more possessive. Number two, they may be more controlling. Number three, they may have more baggage. Number four, they may be more critical of you. Number five, they may have way less tolerance for the drama. They ain't trying to deal with all that. Number six, they may be way more manipulative. They have probably played every game you could think of five times over. You're not gonna beat them at it. On today's video, we'll be talking about dating older men. Are you dating an older man? If you are, comment down below and let me know how it's going. Also, what's the age gap? Let's get into these videos and these compilations of these women talking about dating older men, their experiences and what they have to say. I ain't letting no old suck the life out of me. No, I'm not doing it. Why? You want to hoe around in your 20s and your 30s. Now you're 50 and you single because you was hoeing around all around town, community dick. And now you want to get somebody that's younger because they less used. You're used. So you're used up and you want somebody less used up. No, go ahead and get your match. They be out here, they be having several baby mothers, several kids, but want a girl with no kids. No, get your match. Now there's a lot of things that this woman has said in the past that I would never co-sign for the life of me, but I agree in this case. Not all of them, but some of these men are older and some of them don't want to settle. So that first lady, it may not be as accurate. They have commitment issues. They don't want to settle down. They're always looking for the next fresh meat. They may or may not have kids. And overall, if you're younger, you're easier to manipulate whether you like it or not. You are going to be their little fresh meat that looks good. Uh, I think it's like eye candy or eye candy arm. I don't freaking know the term. If you know it, let me know but it's pretty much like you're just a pretty face for the time being. It's that Leonardo DiCaprio effect, if you know what I'm talking about, Leonardo with the whole once you're 25, he's like, oh girl, no, why are you turning 25? If you're gonna date an older man, say 20 plus years, honestly, I would just say date a man once your brain is fully matured according to science, 25. Women have so much to lose when they date older men because they can become more worthless with each year. I think one of the most important lessons I learned was how older men will waste your time when you are young. So I, I actually only dated one older guy when I was like maybe in my 20s and he was like in his 40s. But I had a friend who, when we were in university, started dating this man who is like 30 years older than she is. So like she's like 19 and he was like 50. Um, so anyway, this man had lived his life. He had children that were older than us and he was still living with his baby mama at the time saying, you know, he was doing it for the kids. The kids were basically, I think the youngest was like 17. So she's actually still with this man. Um, I don't think that since she has finished university that he has actually worked a job. She has basically been taking care of him. And now I don't know how old he is, like 180. I don't know. But he doesn't do shit. like she literally has like an engineering degree, I think like multiple degrees and he does nothing. And when they were when she was still young, um, he, when she was basically saying, are we going to get married? Where is this going? He told her, I'm not quite sure you're the one. Like this manipulation that he did on her to get her hooked was insane. He's pretty much stopped talking to, I mean, we known each other since like we were 12 years old and she's pretty much stopped talking to anyone that she's known from like childhood. Because this is like how these old dudes will groom you, like groom you to be their hospice wife for the future. But he is in total control of like so many aspects of her life. And not to mention the whole BS with uh, living at home with his baby mama back in the day was all it was BS. They were still together. And I remember she wanted to have children. She wanted to do all of these things. And she didn't do any of those things because 
he had already did those things and didn't want to do them again. So even though they're still together, she gave up so much of the life that she had envisioned for herself, for this man, this old ass man, that she is now probably changing his diapers. If you are using a man, then that's on you. I don't condone that. But if you are not looking to commit to a man and you know that you're just using him, if he is older, you'll end up playing yourself if you don't play your cards right. And that's where I'm gonna end that. Number two, older men will literally drain you. Older men, not all, cause some of them go out, they travel, they like to do everything, okay? But then the ones that she's talking about, they're ready to settle down, not marriage. They're literally ready to not travel, not go out as much, not go out past a certain time and all these other things. And you're in your youth. You want to travel. He's done traveling. You want to have kids. He's done having kids. You want to get married. He doesn't want to get married again. If you're looking to actually have a partner that you want to spend the rest of your life with and commit to, probably around your age range, if not around the five, eight mark, something. And then there's a saying, but I'm going to try to translate it in English. It's really, okay, when I translate, Translated is gonna come out simple, but it's really not as simple as I'm gonna translate it into. Pretty much, if you date someone older, you end up looking older yourself. And I know personally about three people that are dating older guys and they do look older. They are still beautiful, but they look older. Their face shape has changed and it's looked a little droopy, but that's not everyone, okay? What I will say is all three of them, oh, there's actually one other one. Let's just say all three of them are looking into getting therapy. These men will literally drain the living crap out of you. And if you don't know how to play your cards right, like I said before, you will end up like this lady that's telling the story. If you're dating older guys thinking that you're gonna have more success in dating, you're lying to yourself. Dating older does not mean that they wanna settle down or have their shit together. And in fact, that's what you should be looking for as opposed to their age. I've been in San Diego for the past week and went on two dates while I was there, which is more dates than I've been on pretty much through the entire year. One was 41, we planned this date prior to, and then the other one was 35. Ran into each other, met each other, he took me out on a date the next night. These two were a world of fucking different. Date number one with a 41 year old had everything planned out. Planned the date, picked the place, sent me the place, made sure it was good. The vibe was super cute, immaculate taste. He sent me an Uber, not just an Uber, but an Uber black. We love the effort. It's not necessary, but it's definitely appreciated. He shows up a little bit beforehand, puts his card down beforehand so I don't even see it. Their check didn't even come to the table, okay? It was already taken care of him. He's like, are you ready to go? And I'm like, wait, what? Like, don't we have to pay? And he's like, oh no, I already took care of it. This this is the type of big dick energy that we love to see. Take care of it. If the bill even hits the table and I have to fidget for my wallet, just take care of it beforehand. Sneak off to the restroom, take care of it. Man, if you're watching this, it makes a world of difference. I felt very safe and taken care of in this moment. No one's ever done that. Love the effort. And then he sent me another Uber on my way home by myself. He had to walk home because I was using his Uber account at the time. That is the type of effort we love to see. Date number two did not remotely show up this way. Date number two with a 35 year old, I basically ran into him and his friends the night before while I was having dinner by myself. And they asked me to come have a drink with them. And I was like, why not? Not the type of people that I would usually hang out with, but I'm like, I'm out of town. I'm feeling a little spontaneous let's do it me and this one guy in the group were kind of hitting it off he got my number at the end of the night texted me let's do drinks tomorrow night he went out with his buddies to dinner i'm like we could have just did dinner like that's weird but anyway drinks is fine it's not the end of the world and i was like where are we meeting up we go back and forth we're both from out of town they just make a fucking plan guys it's really not that hard to can Google a place to figure out where you want to go just for a drink. I will say though that we had a good time. It was fine for what it was. Never going to see him again. Here's the thing. He's 35, just broke up with his ex about a month ago, which is fine, whatever. But he's like, I broke up with her because she wanted to have kids. Her clock was ticking and I'm just like not ready for that because there's still some financial goals that I want to hit and I don't really like what I'm doing for a living. Ladies, if he's in his 30s or older and does not have it figured out, just keep it moving because he's never going to figure it out. And if he does, it's going to be way too late. A man's not going to feel secure in a relationship if he doesn't like what he does, if he doesn't know who he is, and if he doesn't like how much money he's making. And age does not play into this at all. I've met 40-year-olds, 30-year-olds that still have yet to figure it out. And I've met 20-year-olds that have it all going on that are ready to settle down. But you have to be able to weed out the 
generation and not just look at their age. I'm glad she said that at the end where she mentioned that whether you're 35 or 40, it doesn't make any difference because it all has to come down to what you have going for yourself and if you have anything going for yourself and if you love what you have going in for yourself as well as a simple date courting a woman making her feel like the queen of the world making her feel loved making her feel protected making her feel safe it's not that hard it's really not that hard if you are a man and you want to pursue a woman it all starts with the first date the first appearance the way you treat her but at the same time these older men have played the game so well that who they were back then isn't who they are now and so they know how to play the field and everything so there's room for improvement with everyone but if you are at a 35 40 age and you don't know how to do that yeah nah. and there's no crazier turnoff for a man to ask you out on a date and then not know what exactly to do i'm 26 now and i reflect all the time and i think one of the greatest mistakes that i made in my early 20s was dating older men like dating a guy five years older than me dating a guy 10 years older than me dating a guy 12 years older than me that's a story time for another time but if your eldest daughter especially immigrant parents daughter and you're also like a natural people pleaser that's like one of the worst things you can do for yourself oh and also if one of your highest requirements for finding a partner is that you respect them like that, that's gotta be the worst combination because you meet this man that's older than you and automatically you assume because he has these things that he should have at his grown age. You're like, oh my God, like he, he has a car? He has a 401k? And you respect this man, right? And then you want to make yourself seem worthy of his respect too. So you start bending over backwards and doing all these things for them. In reality, they're just a regular guy at his appropriate age having the things that he should already have at that age i know i know you want that oppa lifestyle but i'm telling you if you're in your early 20s just just date someone your age better yet date someone younger that's 18 plus because oh girl i agree and disagree with certain things that she said <laughs> i'm laughing because i am an immigrant daughter and i don't want that opa lifestyle but i do want or at least wanted someone that was older than me and my form of respect wasn't in the sense that oh i'm gonna do anything to please you no it was a it was a respect of oh this is gonna come out so bad oh gosh there's just a difference with other countries compared to america and someone my age would just not make the cut and if he did make the cut, it would, the list would be a little bit longer for him. Not even joking. I'm just going to put that out there. All women want to be treated, whether you say you are strong, independent or whatever, you can be strong, educated, independent, have your degree. But at the end of the day, we all just want to be treated well. We all want to be cared for. We all want to feel safe. We all want to feel supported. And so when you pick, pick wisely. And if you're picking for marriage, pick intentionally. Be careful of the person you choose to spend the rest of your life with. Age does not matter. 21 plus, by the way. It's just maturity, respect, and making sure that you guys are catering to one another. Whatever that love language is for you and him, make sure that that is understood have your standards, adjust your preferences, and live a life 